I'm a circuit leader in uh, Adam Norway, a co-president, as you may call it. Um, I'm going to moderate the session. Uh, our panel is a very distinguished panel. Um, on, on the right is uh, Benedikt Pena Hansen. She's the president of uh, Adam Norway. Then we have the um, uh, Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs in Finland, Elki Tuomioja. Welcome uh, and thanks so much for coming. Uh, and finally, uh, Mr. Uh, Espen Bort Eide, who is uh, Secretary, Secretary of uh, Foreign Affairs, is that correct? Is that how you say it? State Secretary of Foreign Affairs in the uh, Department of Foreign Affairs in Norway. Uh, we also have uh, three short comments uh, after the panel, uh, but I will uh, introduce those uh, after this. So first we'll have a, a comment by, uh, by Benedict Hansen. Uh, he'll talk for maybe 10 minutes. And then the next two comments, he will have a, a what was it, 15, 15 minutes each. So please, uh, Benedict. Norm 
growth in um, the financial economy. And that has created a system that makes it possible to earn money on money. And that earning money on money goes above actual investments in the real economy and actual investments in work and uh, sorry, to create work and to create development. So a tax on financial transactions will help to decrease this uh, financial economy which has grown so much, the speculative economy. It will make it harder to make money on the small, small margins uh, on changes in the <coughs> Ipusha. Ipusha? Rates. Hmm? Rates. Rates. Thank you. <laughs> Again, this is in the region, so it's sometimes the word slips. The rates, uh, the exchange rates, uh, which are very, very small, and it uh, makes it more difficult to earn money on these. Uh, it will, uh, first and foremost, it will hit the speculative economy and the uh, automated trade. You got what we call robot trade. It's uh, algorithms and computers making trades in milliseconds. It's not even humans doing this. It's just machines doing it. And this will um, be hit really, really hard by a tiny, tiny tax because it will be difficult to make money on this. It will also contribute to more transparency in a financial economy which is getting more and more complicated more and less and less see-through. So we need more transparency. And finally, it's a very, very just tax. It is about time that the financial sector actually contributes uh, to the society over, uh, by paying tax like we do. And a tax like this will generate huge uh, sums of money which can go to global common goods, create development, and to pay for climate change. So a tax like this will make the ones who have earned the most on the, global, the economic globalization, and it will redistribute to those who have lost on the same globalization. So when the financial crisis was a fact, we saw huge rescue packages to, to bail out the banks, to bail out the financial institutions without any um, um, of them, demands, conditions, without any conditions. And they got thousands of billions of kroners, and, or dollars or euros, whatever, uh, just to um, go back to business as usual as uh, soon as possible, paying out huge bonuses, and huge salaries. So it's about time that we get this tax. So in the end of September, about a month ago, Barroso, the president of the EU Commission, finally presented a, a, a proposal for an FTT, a financial transactions tax in the EU. This is very, very good news for all of us that has worked for this tax for many, many years. The reaction, the primary reaction from our government in Norway was very, very positive. It was, yes, okay, we will also introduce this tax uh, in the same manner as the EU. This is, uh, this is good news. And um, I now want to use this opportunity to ask uh, not Eva, if this is something that you really, really want to do. We think it's about time. We also call this the most popular tax in the world. We are now millions of people, thousands of organizations working for this tax worldwide. You've heard about the Robin Hood tax campaign. Only in Norway, we have 28 organizations in the Robin Hood tax campaign. We are so many people who want this tax. It's really, really popular tax. Normally, the taxes are popular, but this is. So first, a challenge, which I think is really important, and it's also for Mr. Tormiola, that you need now to stand up against the pressure from the financial lobby. <coughs> the financial lobby is fighting so hard against this tax now, and they're fighting <coughs> to keep the system as it is. They want to keep a system where the rich can get richer, and where the, we have a financial economy which just doesn't benefit uh, all the people. So this is the first thing. Do you dare to stand up against the financial lobby? The second thing is, in the uh, suggest the proposal from the EU. Currency is left out. 
this is not a good idea. This is not the idea that Tobin wanted, uh, James Tobin in the 70s, and this is not what we want. We want to tax also on currency, because currency is one of the biggest speculative objects that we see. It can actually ruin a country's economy by speculative attacks on their currency. So we'll, and this was also the proposal from our government in Norway in the beginning, was to have a tax on currency. So do you want to introduce a currency levy? Do you want to have a currency in the proposal? Uh, and then uh, I'll end with this one, because an important demand from all the civil society organizations is that this tax will go to benefit the poorest, to benefit the climate, and to benefit development and global common good. In the EU proposal, this is not uh, what it said. It said that the money should go to the EU budget. We are a little bit disappointed. We haven't given up, but we're a little bit disappointed about this. So I want to also challenge Mr. Tormioya. How do you want this, uh, the, how do you want to spend the revenue of this tax? And also for Mr. Buck Eva, because the government in Norway has been very clear that the money should go to climate and development. And we are very, very happy about this. So we need uh, this pressure. We need Norway now to be brave, to go in front and to actually be a part of a coalition of women and uh, demand that the revenue goes to global common goods. So I'll end with this, and I look forward to hearing your answers. Thank you.